This is introduction to the type tool in Adobe Illustrator. To enter type, select the type tool, click and drag to create a type box and start typing. You can also enter text into any shape by creating a shape, get the type tool, hover over the edge of the shape so that the square cursor turns into a circle. When the square cursor turns into a circle, click and start typing. You can do the same thing with any shape. Or you can make a custom shape with the pen tool. To change the character attributes, select the type tool, click and drag across your text, go to window, open the type character, and here you could change the font. the size the letting kerning and tracking kerning is space between individual letters so if you click between two letters you could change the kerning between those two letters and the tracking changes the spacing between all the letters uniformly you could also change the vertical scale and the horizontal scale You could also rotate the text and change the baseline shift. Working with paragraphs, select the text using the type tool. Go to Type Paragraph, and here you can change the alignment, Align Left, Align Center, Align Right, Justified. These four options are all justified. The first one is Justified with the last line aligned left, Justified with the last line centered, Justified with the last line aligned right and justify all lines. You could also make indents. So this is a left indent. This is a right indent. This is indent first line of the paragraph. You can also enter text on a path. Create your path first. Get the type on a path tool. Click at the beginning of your path and start typing.
you can move the type around the path by using the direct selection tool. Grab it by the end bar and drag it along the path. There are different type on the path settings. This one is rainbow. There's also skew, 3D ribbon, and a few others. To change the font or the size, use the type tool. Select the type you want to change. Go to window, open type character. You could change the font. And the size. You could also change color by selecting the type you want to change color and change the color fill in the color menu. When you deselect the type, you will see the color change. To turn text into editable paths, type in your text. Go to the type menu and choose create outlines. Once you do that, your type will change into editable paths in Illustrator. Once this is done, you can no longer use the type tool to change any of the attributes like fonts or sizes. You now have to use the selection tools. You could click on different parts of your type and change the paths. These will act the same as any other shape in Adobe Illustrator. So you could select the shape and change the color or scale it or rotate it. 